Hi, dear. Listen, look, uh-uh. I'm trying to do a video, okay? So please. Hi, Dad. As you can tell by the title, you know two things. One, this is a story time. Two, I got fired. It's not really much of a long story, but it's 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 an interesting one. It really is. And let's just start from the top of where it all went. And one thing I do want to say is my name is Kiel. So if you have never been to my channel, welcome. If you have been here before, <laughs> welcome back. You already know how we rock. You feel me? Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to start the story of where everything happened, where everything first happened. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I was at work. I was having a pretty good day, and usually every Friday I like to have a drink. I like to get a little bottle, just a small little bottle. I love Jose Cuevo. I love drinking Jose Cuevo. So this particular Friday, I went to work. I work Monday through Friday from 12 o'clock in the afternoon until whenever the job is done. The type of job that I do, I am a, I'm a truck loader. And and with that type of job, we, we're off, we work off of production. Therefore, we don't, it's not like, okay, you come in at 12 and you'll be off at 10. It doesn't work like that. You come in at 12 o'clock every day and you don't know what time you're getting off. You only get off when the job is done. So if we have 30 trucks that have to be loaded, it maybe be 11 teams, 12 teams. Um, we the, all of the teams has to work together as one team in order to get all of the trucks done and you know by end hitting production. So we may get off at 8:30, 9 o'clock, 9:30. It just ran. It, it, you never know. Anyway, this particular day, I had went to um, I went to work, and it was it was kind of a long day. Um, I got off at a pretty good time. I think I may have gotten off about 9:30. And so um, on my way home, I stopped, got a little bottle of Jose Cuevo, you know, to start my weekend off right. I don't really club, I don't really party, I don't really do any all of that. Um, but I will just have a drink at home and relax. So anyway, I got home all day at work. I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat nothing for breakfast. I didn't eat nothing for lunch, none of that. So when I got home, I had intending on what my roommate had actually cooked she cooked and so when i got home i took a little sip you know and another little sip and before i knew it i was drunk i mean dad was drunk my cousin ended up coming over he bought a bottle too and i was like i was just like oh my god and so i started drinking i didn't eat anything which is a bad idea so anyone out there who's a drinker or not a drinker or someone who's 21 and older and haven't had a drink, but is thinking about it, make sure you eat first. So we were all just sitting here, just really having a drink, talking or whatever. And we drunk two bottles of Jose Cuevo before I knew it. I fucked up! Like, I was drunk, drunk. After a couple hours being home drinking, I just, I had to get in the bed. I couldn't even take a shower. And then I got off work too. And I, when I get off work, I like to get home. Usually I get home, sit for about a good 30 minutes to an hour, get my body time to just, and then I jump in the shower. But, um, this particular day, I didn't even make it to the shower. I just, when I got home, I started drinking. I was drunk, I got in the bed. But right before I got in the bed, I tried to eat a little bit of what my um, roommate cooked, which is not a good idea because I was already drunk. I had already had alcohol in my system. So by the time I literally took two or three bites, got in the bed, after I got in the bed, I said about 10 minutes later, I just started throwing up, it was just, Coming, 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 coming. And in my mind, I'm just like, I know you fucking like. I'm talking about I threw up that night. The next morning, I woke up throwing up. And then the next morning, it went from, if anybody gets really disgusted easily, well, I'm not gonna say really disgusted because it is a normal thing, but if you're just like a person that really don't like to talk about certain things, and this might not be the video for you. Which this part is only gonna last just a little second. Anyway, <clears throat> I had, um, I was throwing up. I had diarrhea in a discussion. So that was Friday. Going into Saturday, all day Saturday, I literally was in this bed from the time I woke up that morning to the time I went to sleep. I was in this bed. And so the second day, I was sick, just throwing up diarrhea, throwing up diarrhea. Sunday was the same thing, throwing up diarrhea. So at this point, I'm like, okay, either I have alcohol poison or I just have a stomach bug, like a stomach virus. It's one or the other. And so um, I was not, that whole weekend, I was not feeling good. Mind y'all, I didn't eat anything Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So I have no energy. I'm just sitting in this bed. Anything, anything I was drinking, like I would drink water, is coming up. The only thing I could drink and didn't come up was Coke. 
that's the only thing I can drink. Anytime I'm feeling nauseous, I always get a Coke. Even though they say Sprite is better, but I just feel like Coke works better for me. Now, Sunday afternoon, I decided to go to the hospital. So, I go to the hospital to see exactly really what's going on. Because <laughs> you're going to have to let me know. Doctor, talk to me. So, um... Yeah, I go to the doctor and basically they're just letting me know like, hey, you know, you have a stomach virus, you have a stomach bug, it's been going around and unfortunately, you've got it. They gave me a diarrhea pill, which did, I, I did, it worked, I wasn't having diarrhea, but my gas, gas was backing up, dad. And they also gave me an excuse, they, they excused me off work for two days because, you know, I didn't have a stomach virus, you really shouldn't be around people, it'll spread, blah, 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 blah. Now, the next day is Monday, the day that I'm supposed to go to work. Now, before I get into that... The way my job is set up, it's only a certain amount of days you can call out, a certain amount of times you can be late um, until it's, they call it occurrences. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people is familiar with that. And once you get to so many occurrences, you get to, at my job, you get to a final. Whenever you reach to a final, that means you can't call out. You can be late, but you cannot call out from work. You can't call out at all. If you call out, you're fine. I knew I was on a final. So um, what I did was that Monday morning, I had went to work early. Even though I still wasn't feeling good, I still hadn't eaten anything since, at this point, the la last week, the week before. So I was really weak. I was weak, just tired. I mean, I was sick. I was sick. I was, that was, it was the worst for me that I probably ever, have ever had. I went to work early to talk to the back room manager and my manager. When I got there, I spoke with the back room manager and I told him, I was like, hey, I said, I'm on a final, um, I said, I'm on a final and I don't really know if I can be off, but I'm sick. I have a stomach virus. I do have an excuse for work, um, but at this point, I'm sick. I said, but if I can't be off, I'll just deal with it and I'll try to do my best here at work. And so he says, well, you go to your manager and ask your manager is anyone requested off for today. If there's a spot available, he can write your name in the book. You'll be good to go. So I said, okay, thank you. So I went to my manager and I told my manager what his boss said. And my manager was like, well, according to policy, I really can't do this, blase, 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 blase. And then he decided, he said, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do it just this one time. So I said, okay, thank you. Anyway, I leave from the back room. I leave the back room and I go home. So anyway, I go home to get better. So a week and a half later, after this, by this time I had been, I came back to work the next day. So this is a whole nother week later. A week after he gave me this day off. So the back room manager decides to call me to his office. And so my manager comes to get me. He's like, do you know what he wants to talk to you about? Even though I feel like my manager already knew what it was, but just didn't want to tell me. So I was like, no, I don't know what he want to talk about. My manager's like, yeah, the back room manager is like, well, do you know I called you back here? And I said, no. What is it? You know, I'm trying to figure out what's up. What's good? Let's get to the point. So he was like, well, um, you were on, he said, you were on your final, and then you got off your final, and then you went back to your final. And corporate changed that because so many people were going from their final to a written back to a final. They thought that, so unfortunately, I have to terminate you. So I'm like, well, I'm just like, well, when, I said, when did I get off a final? I said, because I don't get off my final until September. So what are you talking about? And so basically he was just like, well, talking about the day that I missed. And I said, well, y'all gave me that day off. And then he said, well, in the book, it's under your sick. And my manager, my manager, mind you, was sitting in the same room. So my manager's like, yeah, you know, I put down, I wrote down in the book, then you sick. And so at this point, I wasn't mad for real, for real. I was calm. I just feel like it really wasn't anybody but God because normally I just would have been spazzing and just be like, I just feel like it wasn't anybody but God, honestly, that just really came over me and just really kept me calm because I'm just looking at them in their faces like, you know, you got to be kidding me. Like, are you serious right now? And I was just like, okay, that's fine. I was like, yeah, it's cool. It's fine. It's understandable. You know, say no more. And so he was like, well, I'm sorry. And I said, no, it's fine. So I got up and then he was like, um, he said, make sure um, you give your badge and your locker key to your manager. And I said, all right. So I'm going to the lockers here because my manager following me like a damn puppy. And he's like, man, Daniel, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry it had to be you, man. I just, dang, man, I hate that. We were just talking about having you trainer, having you be a trainer, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, it's okay. 
it's fine. But in my head, I'm like, I got something for y'all asses. I do, I got something for y'all asses. But on the outside, you know, I'm really keeping my cool, really making it seem like, man, it's straight, it is what it is, don't worry about it. Let me tell you how dirty they did me, like, they didn't, so, because y'all know I don't have a car. I called my mom and I was like, hey, they fired me. I need you to come pick me up. She was like, what? And then I was like, yeah. And then she was like, well, I'm on my way. And I said, okay. So, mind you, my job is about 30 minutes away from my mom's house. So, I this is, they terminated me before my lunch time. So, I did, have, I had made some baked spaghetti. And I just took it to work with me. And so, I, um, I was warming up my food. And here comes the back room manager. He walks up to me and he's like, what are you doing? And I said, well, just warming up my food. I said, because, you know, I said, I don't, I said, I'm waiting on my ride. So I just figured I'd just sit here and just eat until my ride gets here. And then he was like, um, you can just go sit in the front office. So they wouldn't let me sit in the lounge. And I was like, okay. I spoke to someone there. And the person I spoke to was like, you know what? You need to call corporate about what just happened. I said, okay. And so by the time I walked out of that building, my mom was outside. I got in the car. I'm on my way. Boom, let's go. It's time for me to call these folks. So I called corporate. And the number that they gave me basically was corporate to, it was it was our corporate, but it was over the grocery department. <clears throat> I needed the complaint office. And so the lady on the phone, she was like, baby, you calling the wrong number. Let me give you the right number that you need to call. She said, because you got my head spinning. Because it was a whole lot, y'all. So she gave me the number. So when I called corporate, I tried to reach, um, <clears throat> it's a guy that's over the complaint. I tried to call him, he was uh, out. He was out that day and the day after this, oh, that was July 3rd, the day after this was July 4th because I remember because I tried to call them July 4th, but they were closed, corporate was closed July 4th. And so I said, okay. So July, that following, whatever, the next day, the next work day, I don't even remember, but he called me back. And I gave him the rundown of what happened. He gave me his personal number. He was like, look, this is what you need to do. He was like, if you have any problems, he said, if you don't, if it doesn't get solved the way you need it to get solved, you call me back directly and I will personally handle it. He said, the only reason I really can't get into it right now is because you have to go up the chain of command at your job. You know, I didn't go up the chain of command. I went from my back room manager to the big man. I mean, I said, I skipped all y'all. Hell no, I'm going to the big folks. Anyway, I had to get in touch with my HR manager at my job. My HR manager was out of town. I was terminated on a Wednesday. He was out that Thursday, that Friday, the following whole week. And he, he didn't come back till basically two weeks after I was terminated. And so when I knew he was back, I tried to call him to really tell him what was going on. Because at this point, I started to look for another job, y'all, but... I make pretty good money, you know, and in and, and my city or where I'm at. This is one of the top few jobs and I'm and it's really better pay, you know. And um I really just needed my job. I mean, because I have a, a place, I had a car. Well, I still had my car, it just wasn't running, but I was making payments on it. Yeah, so I had to wait till my HR manager got back. And so this is what's crazy. I called my the week that he got back, I called him Monday. I didn't get a response. Um they just left. They they broke my name and stuff down and told me that they'll tell him to call me. They didn't. Well, I think they did, but he never called me back. And then Tuesday, same thing. And so Wednesday came, I said, I need to be working. I need to make money because by this point, I had been off for two weeks. That's why those two weeks, I was really posting videos every single day because I said, you know what? While I'm waiting on him to get back, I might as well continue with my YouTube. I might as well continue to post as much as I can on my YouTube until I get back to work because I know if I get my job back I'm not going to be able to post as much as I want to post anyway this Wednesday happened this Wednesday came and I got up I grabbed them damn keys I said let me hit the door actually my mom came over and woke me up and then I said you know what I need to go so I went down there and it's crazy because when I got down to the job he was going to lunch as I was coming in and so I said, okay. And that is in my last video. So if you guys do want to, um, if you guys haven't seen that last video, go watch that last video. Every day vlog with me, the whole day vlog with me. I forgot what I named it, but that's the video that it's in when I had to go talk to that. Talk to my HR manager. Y'all heard what I said. When I got there, he was going to lunch. So I sat there. I waited a couple minutes. And um, actually, I waited his whole lunch for him to get back. And when he was when he was coming back from lunch, I happened to see him in the parking lot. So I got out of my car and I said, hey, Mr. Bleep, bleep, bleep. I said, um, do you know what happened to me last week? And then he was like, no, what's going on? So I gave him the rundown exactly what happened. The same rundown I gave y'all. I was just basically letting him know, like, <clears throat> I went out of my way to make sure I didn't lose my job. And I still, they gave me permission to be off. And I still ended up losing my job anyway. And I wasn't having that at all. And so he was looking at me. I told him what happened. And he was like, you know what? He said, give me your number. 
He said, I'm about to go to your manager right now. He said, I'm finna go to your manager right now and I'm finna ask him really what's going on, what happened. He said, but you will hear from me today. He said, you will hear back from me today. And I could, I could hear, I could, the way he was just talking, I knew like, I was like, okay. I was like, you know what, Lord, thank you. So, you know, I left the job and I kid you guys not, by the time I made it out from the job to my mom's house, he gave me a call. And um, he was basically telling me, he was like, well, this is what happened. He was like, uh, basically everything that I said happened, he repeated back to me and told me everything that I told him. He was like, you know, you were right about this. And you were right about this. He could tell I wasn't lying that I was being honest. And I told him, you know, that my manager put my name in the book. He went and looked in the book. And he was like, you know, you're right. Everything, my story was basically solidified. Every, you know, he knew. And so he said, so what happened was, he said, you got two managers that was not on the same page. And then my manager, the one that's over me, when he wrote me in the book, he wrote me in the book under sick, which means when the book went to his manager, his manager sees that I'm that he wrote in the book that I'm sick. So the manager puts in the computer. And my job, whenever you whenever they write you in as sick, it's basically like you done called in and said, Hey, I'm sick, I'm not coming in. So it looked as if I called in and when in reality I didn't call in, they gave me permission to be off. So my manager what my manager did was he failed to do my paperwork behind the reason of me being off. He never did the paperwork. So when it got back to his manager, it looked as if I just called out like I didn't come to work by me being on a final that put me at termination and so when I found that out I was instantly mad because I'm just sitting there thinking I'm like okay to my manager you're sitting in the office with me and your manager while he's terminating me because of the simple fact that you didn't do what you were supposed to do so you're allowing me to get terminated when you know you didn't do what the hell you were supposed to be doing you feel what I'm saying? It, that really pissed me off. It pissed me off. The more I thought about it, it pissed me off. And so the HR manager, he was like, you know what? He said, but all I need, he said, so basically, you, he said, you had two managers that was on two different pages. He said, your manager didn't follow up with the paperwork like he was supposed to follow up before it got to the backroom manager. He was like, so, he said, it's not your fault. He said, so, he said, I need you to come to work tomorrow. I'll give you your badge and your locker key back and you will be good to go. And y'all, I was just jumping around the house. I was so happy. I was so happy. And let me tell y'all, my faith never failed me. Throughout that whole situation, my faith did not fail me. I knew from the moment that I was getting terminated by my spirit being so calm and settled, I knew that God was just like, I knew I wasn't going to be without a job. I just felt like maybe that was a test of faith. And I was out of work for two weeks, y'all. Two weeks I was out of work. So I missed, I done missed the whole pay period of work, which I have an apartment. I have bills. So that really set me back. But yeah, you know, so anyway, um, he called me and when I got back to work, a lot of people were so surprised because that place, the place that I work for y'all has, they, from my, I've been there a year and from the people that has been there longer than me, when I came back, they were like, I've never seen this happen before. I've never seen them fire somebody and you turn around and come back the next week. Cause most, and a lot of people were like, you know, the average person is just gonna find something else and say, you know what, they did me dirty, I'm gone or or, you know, they just gonna give up on it. They said, but you fought. And I was like, I know, I did fight. You feel what I'm saying? I did, I really did, you know? And at first I wasn't, I'm not gonna say I wasn't going to. I had just got, after a couple of days, I had gotten to a point, I was like, maybe I should just do applications everywhere else. And then, you know, I just feel like God kept telling me like, no, you're finna get your job back. You know, I just felt like it was a test of faith. So that's really the whole moral of this story. Really, it's just having faith because I had faith from the time that I was getting terminated that I was going to have my job. And I just knew that, you know, my job wasn't going to be taken away from me. You know what I'm saying? All in all, I came back. A lot of people were so happy to see me. A lot of people was just telling me how they've never seen that before, which, you know, did make me feel good. And then the back room manager going to come up to me talking about something. Why you didn't tell me? I would have investigated it. I said, I did try to tell you. I said, I tried to tell you, but you didn't want to listen to me. You didn't want to listen to what I had to say. So that's why I was really able to post and post and post every day. I was posting something every day on YouTube. And now it's been a point. I think I haven't posted in almost like a week and a half or two weeks or something like that. But I am getting back around, y'all. I've just been working really, really hard. Going from not working. And y'all, I was staying up to like, when, when after they terminated me, I was, my sleep, it threw my whole sleep schedule. I was up at like five. 
in the morning, six in the morning, then I'd be asleep till one in the afternoon. And when I tell y'all, I can't do that. that. That's not me. I cannot not have a job. I cannot not work. Cause that just makes me feel like, like, no, I've been working since I've been able to work. Actually, I've been working since I was like 18 and I'm 23 now. So that's really five years of consecutive work. And I, if I left a job, I had another job. Or if I left a job, I had another job within two weeks. I never just not, I have to have money. Okay. I need money. I like. I got things I like to do, and I just can't sit around and not work. I can't. It just don't feel right to me. It just doesn't feel right at all. But yeah, guys, that's really just the whole story. That's really what happened. I know I, I owe y'all this, and you know what? I miss y'all. I really miss y'all, man. I miss you guys. I miss. I really miss doing YouTube. Like I love it. And I've been at home all day, so no, I ain't got no deal on. But I ain't musty. I did go to Zaxby's too. With that being said, y'all, there will be more vlogs coming. There will be more anything coming. But you know what? At this point, I'm gonna really need y'all to start telling me what y'all want to see. Like, do y'all want y'all want to talk about something? Do y'all want to have a mukbang? Do y'all want to have a, a braiding tutorial? Is there anything that you guys want to see? Let me know. Drop it in the comments, please. And for and to the new subscribers, you know what? They got. Y'all know I can't talk. I be trying to talk so bad. But to the new subscribers, thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for joining the family. Yeah, I really think that's about it. So the whole moral of this story is basically to have faith. You know, have faith, keep faith, and just don't let bad situations get the best of you because you never know how a bad situation can turn around and and you will have the favor at the end of the story. You never know. So yeah, y'all, if you did like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching my story time. I really, really appreciate it. You know I love you guys. <laughs> y'all are like really the best. You're the best, dad. And I miss talking to y'all like I really do. So anyway, with that being said, you guys, you guys have a great, blessed one. And you never know, I might hit y'all with a vlog tomorrow or today. You never know. So. All right, y'all. I will talk to you guys later.